I'm Dr. Avla. I'm a neurosurgeon at UAMS and I'm the director of the Cerebrovascular Surgery Service. Uh, an aneurysm is a bulge on a, a blood vessel uh, in the brain and um, the problem with aneurysms is that the wall is thin and it can uh, pop and when an aneurysm uh, bursts it uh, leaks blood into the brain and uh, unfortunately that's uh, very serious and can be fatal in up to 40 percent of uh, cases uh, before a patient actually arrives to medical care. So an aneurysm can be found out in, in two ways. Um, one of the ways you'll find out you have an aneurysm is if it ruptures and that'll cause, cause the worst headache of life. Um, other times we found out about aneurysms uh, for other reasons when a patient uh, gets an imaging study of their head and the aneurysm may be incidental, that is it may not have ruptured, and when it's unruptured uh, there are two choices, um, to treat it or to leave it alone, and that really comes down to the individual patient, uh, their concern about the aneurysm and their risk factors. Um, it's always easier to treat an aneurysm when it's not ruptured, but um, uh, it's not necessary to treat an aneurysm uh, truly uh, unless it has truly ruptured, and then it's absolutely necessary. Aneurysms can affect uh, people of any age, and uh, somebody who has um, uh, symptoms like the worst headache of life, uh, whether it's a child or somebody who's more elderly, um, could fall into that category where they've had an aneurysm that's burst. So uh, there really is no, no single age uh, that uh, aneurysms affect. If you or a loved one has uh, the worst headache of life, um, there is a chance that uh, that thunderclap headache could be an aneurysm that's burst, and it's very important to get into an emergency room and get neurosurgical care as soon as possible. Um, sometimes patients who have had uh, an aneurysm bleed uh, will be um, unconscious, and it's very important for their family members to get them to the hospital as quickly as possible because uh, there are many uh, people that I've seen that have uh, been in comas because of an aneurysm that have walked out of the hospital. To my patients, I always tell them the same thing. Uh, whatever the problem is or the complexity of what it is, I'm going to do my best to take care of them and uh, give everything I have to get them through it. Mm -hmm.